at Bergstrom Cadillac in Nina, part of uh, Bergstrom Chevy Buick Cadillac. Uh, this, this is kind of a second video. I've been wandering around and recording, but didn't want the uh, file to get too big. I ran across my first uh, over $100,000 vehicle. 2024, which uh, if I spend that much, I at least want the uh, model year 2025 since it's almost 2025. 6.2 liter V8, 10 speed automatic, 16 miles to the gallon. I don't know, they're gonna redesign these things and then it's gonna look obsolete and they're gonna want another one. Although if they keep the prices like this, it'll kind of hold its value, but how much is it gonna hold? There you go, over $100,000 on sale on a uh, basically last year's model at this point. Cadillac Escalade. Well, next to it, not much cheaper. This will be 95. Two miles per gallon, 6.2, 10 speed, 2024. Nice rims. Oh, these are fixed running boards. They're not even the automatic running boards. Yeah, both of those have the fixed running boards. Oh, that's funny. For that price, I want automatic running boards. All right, and that's pretty much all they have for Cadillacs. I don't know, I remember looking at Cadillac dealers years ago and they uh, had quite a few on the lot. I was always amazed at how many Cadillacs they'd have on the lot. All right, am I missing something? Like there's some used ones down there. But I don't see any more new Cadillacs. Here's the sign, and literally there's two. And this is uh, Nina, Wisconsin. There's Highway 41. I mean, we're in a populated, busy area. And they have two. I just feel like I'm missing something. Body shop across the road. I'm gonna wander a little bit, see if there's more Cadillacs. Oh, well, maybe people don't buy Cadillacs anymore. There's a bunch of used uh, SUVs down the road. Oh, look at those. How narrow headlights are getting. They were so big and now they're so tiny. Electric Equinox. 48 grand on the sticker. I don't know, when I've had wiring trouble with cars, it's been really bad. A lot of times the engine still runs, but the wiring issues, like half the stuff doesn't work. So what's an electric car gonna be when all the wiring doesn't work? All right, so 41. I think this is the cheapest Colorado I've seen today. And it's like the same price as the full size work truck. 2.7 turbo max. I don't know, I think I'd get that. Well, it's an extra cab, but that'll no, travel off. Maybe there's a cheaper version out here. I'll see more Buicks, but I don't see more Cadillacs. 51,000. 63,000 dollars, 85,000 dollars. I'm always amazed at the difference. Like one truck can have that many options. Hey, sold, $85,000. Congratulations. I mean, may you drive it for 20 years, I guess. Or get a uh, full price. But I just remember how many times people have bought vehicles, you've heard the story where they bought it, drove it for a few years and sold it for the same price they paid because there was so much um, inflation that it went up that much. Oh, here's a Trax. I certainly think they weren't making them. 1.2 liter. You don't even need an engine hoist for that. I just pick it up. 25 grand. I just don't. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in the low 20s. Well, I mean, this is close to the price of a Jetta. I saw some of those for like 22. Trax has got a lot more space. I guess that, uh, was it Taos or something? A little 
DW. What was it called? It's where these things made. Okay. I lose my, uh, I don't think that's Korea. Oh, it is Korea. Did not know they were making these in Korea. You think the shipping would run you a little bit. That's a cute thing. Although I always wonder if you call a truck cute. It can it haul less once you've called it cute? See that? The blue is a trailblazer and then the red is the, the moon is the tracks. So the tracks is like a little lower. Equinox. 35. Maybe a uh, point of manufacturing makes a difference. That's Mexico. These things are spending more time on a boat. Gosh, those are low. It's gotta be that mid-engine. I like the angles on it. Don't like the price. 2024, Stingray. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to see where I was going. But I've never driven along. I, I guess you'd get there fast. Corvette? Stingray. I don't know. If you can afford it, you got someone to park it. That is cool. I don't think I really have either. Trailblazer. Oh, this is the tracks. All right, I'm totally losing it. And an Equinox. Well, I'd have to do a Costco trip with each to see how much dog food I could get in there. Here, 30. I really like the leather seats or any kind of seat that is uh, smooth so that when the dogs jump in, it is, uh, it stays clean, you know, get the paw prints all over. So I'm pulling behind me, trying not to film his face or uh, walk in front of him. What Buick is this? Gotta learn my Buick models. Easy to look at the back and tell us the envision. There's some Buick models that uh, had like two names, made it sound like it wasn't a Buick or something. Oh, hey, there's some more Cadillacs. I don't know if those are new. The Escalade. I think this is where they're hiding them, <laughs> the parts center. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign. Vehicle price, 101000 Another, well, on sale for less than 100 but another $100,000. Oh, there's another $100,000 one. So there is more than two. I don't know, the, at least have some space, but like I really like some of the Porsche SUVs. If you're looking for nice, maybe a little more collectible. Don't forget to look at Porsche if you're gonna spend a hundred grand. Hello, Porsche, you can go a lot higher than that. See, they, they put this there so that 58,000 looks like a good price. Yeah. XT6. Ooh, 49, XT4. Let's get down to in the 50s for Cadillac. What is this? Do we have an actual sedan? 2025 CT4. See, this is where Lincoln messed up, is uh, they don't have any sedans. This is really nice. CT4, two liter turbo. Don't know about that engine for Cadillac. Traditional sunroof size. 350T. All wheel drive. Got little tires on it. All right, that's really nice. Oh, is this the uh, Lyric? 
All right, I see Hoobie's garage bought a Lyric. I gotta watch more of that, see what it's actually like to own one. Although he sells the stuff fairly quick. What I'm wondering about is the uh, long-term ownership. 76 on the sticker. I'm wondering about the long-term ownership of some of these electric cars. I just picked, oh, they got four Lyrics. Can't imagine there's that much demand. Wow, what am I trying to stumble out here? The long-term ownership of some of these electric cars. I mean, not only the battery, but you got a lot of electronic components. You know, how are they gonna hold up? What happens when the mouse chews through your wire and harness? Is it gonna be basically 50 grand in damage because you got a total of the thing, or are you gonna be able to save it? Buick Vision. Oh, I, it's Malibu. I thought it was an older or a used one. 2024, 27 grand. Well, 24 on sale. See, that's not horrible for a new car. Don't know if the reliability is there compared to a couple of the other brands, but that's not a horrible price. A lot, all depends on how long you're going to keep it. 2025 in Vista, made in Korea. I really think the point of manufacture makes a difference in how long the thing's gonna last. It looks like a hatchback, like it has some space in it all. Well, and who's making them? All right. Yeah, the K is missing. I'm like, is that, are they trying to say something it's a buick without the k have an r and vista yeah see this is one where they almost try to make it sound like it's not a buick and vista have an r i don't assume they had one and they would tell you what kind of car they had but leave off the word buick pretty grand i like the interior in korea 29 on sale I don't know, this isn't, that's not horrible looking though. Okay, that's kind of weird. Encore, a little taller, a little narrower. Also made in Korea. Not sure what that Avnar is, if that's a trim level now. 35 on the sticker, seven miles to gallon. Encore GX Avnar. Encore GX. All right, there's a ton of trailblazers laying around here. I mean, the price is right though, I bet they sell. Yeah, see, so 2025 for 25 grand. A better deal than most used cars. I don't get why some of those used cars sell that are basically higher priced than new. It's gotta be that uh, people are just looking at used cars and don't think they can afford new. But I mean, these, you know, mid twenties, it's a better deal than most uh, most used cars. All right, gonna cut it off here since I've looked at most everything else. But this was uh, mostly hunting for Cadillacs and seeing what else they had here.